for next school year as ASI election results are announced. What started off as a birthday party has now turned into one of the newest music festivals in San Luis Obispo. And with the NFL draft kicking off tonight, former Cal Poly fullback Joe Prothro is hoping to hear his name called. Broadcasting from Swanson Studios, you're watching Mustang News. Hello and welcome to Mustang News. I'm Patrick Madden. And I'm Hannah Benson. Thank you for joining us. Here are today's top stories. The results from the 2019-2020 ASI presidential elections are in. Sydney Brandt has more. Right now I'm here at the University Union Plaza where there is a lot going on. Just moments ago, the 2019-2020 presidential elections were announced. Next year, junior Mark Borges, representing the College of Agriculture, will be next year's president. With 1,941 votes, is Mark Borges. Environmental Management and Protection Junior Mark Borges celebrated with his supporters after the announcement. Mark was running against two other candidates, Communication Studies sophomore Henry Broback and Journalism freshman Alex Byers. I think right now it starts with relationship building, promoting myself as a resource for students and families. Um, priorities are going to change, I feel like things are going to happen. Um, I want to be able to make sure that I'm flexible for what's going to happen. Representatives from each of the colleges on the board of directors were also announced. This year, in a rare occurrence, two of the candidates in the College of Agriculture will go head-to-head -head in a runoff for next year's final seat. Mark will officially take office as ASI president after spring commencement this year. He says that one of his biggest goals for next year is to form connections with students. In the University Union Plaza, Sydney Brandt, Mustang News. From birthday party to local music festival, I made my way to Extravaganza to discover how it all started. A party in the clouds. Western Ridge Lay State for the newest music festival in the San Luis Obispo area, Extravaganza. Attracting hundreds of residents, all looking to be a part of the next big thing. Junior architecture student and founder of the event, Chrissy Bellardi, never expected her birthday to turn into something quite like this. The first Extravaganza all started because I lived in PCV my second year and I wanted to have a birthday party. But I didn't have a place to put my friends in my small fifth floor apartment. So I rented the biggest campsite I could find and just called everyone to come out and join up there. The 50 people at the first event turned into 150, and now to roughly 400 plus people. The crowd continued to flood the ridge, carload after carload, but Velarde couldn't do it all on her own. It takes a team to pull the whole thing off. I was an engineer in school, so like, I don't know, the things like make sense to me. Like, okay, first you need power, and then you need extension cords and power ships. You know, I can like walk through the process pretty well in my head. So I kind of did that for the team. Besides the eight bands performing throughout the night, including Cal Poly talents such as Dudio Perez, Three More Daddies, and Auto Pipe, Velarde and company had an art wall, food vendors, and camping into the dawn. Everything powered by a single generator. According to Velarde and Robertson, with the growth and success of the festival, they plan to host this biannual event somewhere that can hold even more people. But the side up at Cuesta Ridge is a hard one to beat. We need live music and a sweet sunset. And all for the price of $4. Look out for the next event on Azola Productions' Facebook page. The temperature has continued to climb, but how long will that last? Max, what can we expect heading into the weekend? I'm Maxwell Floor. Stay tuned for your weekend weather after the break. See on page four that the projections need to be Earthquake? Next Thursday? Seriously? Thursday? Can't do that. Uh-uh. This is really inconvenient. I have yoga that day. I have no time for this. So. I can't do Thursday, but I can do Friday. Disasters don't plan ahead. You can. Talk to your loved ones about how you're going to be ready in an emergency. Don't wait. Communicate. Leaving hot coals improperly extinguished can cause a wildfire. Hey guys, it's smoky. It looks as if Smokey is going to use the drown, stir, drown, and feel technique. After the first drown, a good start. Next, another drink. And finally, a close feel. Is it cool? cool? Okay. Yeah. Hey, Smokey, catch. Oh, my bad, Smokey. Only you can prevent wildfires. 
When we found out that we were pregnant, we were just elated. We were just sitting there waiting for the pediatrician. She said she won't be taking you in as a client. We are a lesbian couple, but she's just a baby. She's the one you're denying the service to. Welcome back. I'm Maxwell Floor with your Mustang News Weather. Today, as you can see, we have a high of 76 degrees with a low of 52, and we will be reaching that 52 around midnight tonight if you're staying out late to start your weekend. There is a fog advisory, so if you plan on traveling to the beaches up and down the 101, be careful for traffic around those uh, maritime layers. For your North County weather, we have Paso Robles at our highest, 86 degrees. And then it is cooling down just like every other city. We have Santa Margarita, 70 degree, 79 degrees. San Luis Obispo at that cool 76. At the beaches, we have Cayucas with 70 or 67 degrees. Avila Beach with 63 degrees. Pismo Beach with your 62. And Oceano down here with 64 degrees at the high. South County, Arroyo Grande has a 65 degree. 65 degree uh, high, Guadalupe with 66 degree high and 50 degree low, Vandenberg with your 65 degree uh, high. For your five day forecast, you can expect the sunny weather to stick until about Sunday where we will be getting intermittent showers and you'll begin your next week with showers. That was your weather on to sports with Garrett. Thank you so much. Thanks, Max. Well, it may be spring, but football is making its way back into the headlines. With the, Since with the end of football trip. season, Cal Poly football's all-time leading rusher Joe Prothrow has been focused on getting an opportunity to play for an NFL team. Prothrow has been working out for several NFL teams, along with participating in Cal Poly's Pro Day. i uh, just been training hard, you know, um, trying to put myself in the best position to be able to get an opportunity to play in the NFL. Um, so I, I was at a pre-draft workout uh, locally for the Raiders Pro Day and um, the 49er Pro Day. They both went pretty pretty good. It was cool, man. It was cool, uh, you know, to see the stadium and everything. I haven't been to a, you know, a stadium like that since I was young. You know, I used to go to Raider games with my pops and stuff like that. But it, it was a great experience. Yeah, I mean, I, I got some phone calls, you know, from the Chargers, the Jets. Um, and my agent told me today that the Bills are really interested in me. So, you know, I, I got a good, you know, I got a, I'm hopeful that I'll get, definitely get opportunity, so. Despite the long odds, Prothero remains hopeful that he will get the opportunity that he wants. I'm expecting to get drafted, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared for it. I'm prepared for the worst, you know, hoping for the best. So, I can't even tell you really. <laughs> uh, well, if, if I don't get drafted, then, you know, try to sign a free agency contract and, um, I think I think I got a good chance of doing that for sure. Uh, I try not to just try not to even focus on it. To be honest with you, like I'm more excited for the Avengers to come out tomorrow. Like several draft an analysts are projecting Pro Throw to go in the later rounds of the draft, which will be April 27th. Cal Poly football has started their spring camp practices, leading up to the spring scrimmage game. Head coach Tim Wall stresses how important the scrimmage is for the team moving forward. You know, it's amazing every year, even during fall camp, it happens, but, it, you know, you always talk about it. But one scrimmage, the defense shows up and just kicks tail. Then the next scrimmage, the offense shows up and they kick tail. You know, if we, if the whole thing we're looking for on Saturday is like a game. We want to put it all together. And we want to see when the ones go, we want to leave. If they only play 12 to 15 plays, which they might on Saturday, the first groups, uh, we want to make sure that those 12 or 15 plays are extremely efficient. The team will have one more practice on Friday before the screen sprint image game in Spano Stadium at Saturday at 1 p.m. Well, that's all we have for sports news. Coming up after the break, how Cal Poly Music Production Union is helping showcase local rappers. Hey, Dad, I need your help asking Jessica to prom. Of course. Love is like the ocean. You have to tread the Oh, waters. Dad, that's not the kind of help I needed. Hey, Jessica. I... Um, will you go to prom with me? Yes. <laughs> you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care can't wait to share their first with you. 
This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org. The Cal Poly Music Production Union recently put on Operation Drip Drop to showcase local rap artists. Reporter Francisco Martinez is on the beat. For, For many rappers in the San Luis Obispo scene, Operation Drip Drop gives them the opportunity to express their message through their craft. The Cal Poly Music Production Union previously organized this event under the name Operation Hip Hop, but the club president says that this year's concert offers a fresh start for the union's sound. We had a lot of like sort of rap that um, resonated with the people performing, but not maybe the audience or or. And now we feel like we can sort of expand and push past that barrier of like really thinking about the audience and just putting out what we want. Many rappers at the show opt for underground beats and bars instead of top 40 style rap in order to tell their story. For Linnea Landgren, who performs as Linnea All Right, Operation Drip Drop's New Direction gives her and fellow MC Adam Massini the chance to talk about their experience as immigrants. The duo debuted their new song at the event, creating a moment of pride for the graphic communication junior. The song itself means a lot to me. I talk a lot about my opinions as an immigrant and just, I don't know, I feel like I blend in a lot. People assume I'm from here. Um, but I really like am proud of my Swedish heritage and I just want to talk about it with people. Because of stories like Landgren's, the Music Production Union views Operation Drip Drop as essential to the rap community's success and spirit. Having that tight-knit community is what it's all about, really. Uh, the community of the rappers around town and just sort of the, the vibe and the hype behind it is really quite wonderful. Francisco Martinez, Mustang News. The Mustang, the Music Production Union is open to all students and all genres of music. Last night, Cal Poly Surf Friday held their first Make Waves Film Festival. Featuring short films from Cal Poly and Cuesta students, topics range from surfing and skating to sustainability. The event sold out of their donation-based tickets, being one of their largest fundraisers to date. The money raised will go into clubs programs such as water quality testing, restaurant sustainability, beach cleanups, education, and a new project, a sustainable compost garden. There's just so many ways to get involved and I encourage people a lot of times the easiest way to start is to just come to a beach cleanup or come to the film fest or come to a general meeting because you can connect with us and we can get you plugged into whatever you're interested in and help you run with that. And I just think that like it's really important for people to get involved because nature gives us so much so we got to give back sometimes and surf rider I think makes it really easy for people to do something about it because a lot of times people just don't know where to start and so you can start with us. <laughs> if you want to get more involved surf rider and other sustainability clubs will be hosting events the rest of the, the rest of Earth Week. Tonight, students and community members gather in Mission Plaza for Take Back the Night. Hosted by SAFER, Take Back the Night is an annual international event with a mission to end all forms of sexual abuse. There will be a march through downtown, followed by an open mic for attendees to voice their thoughts and experiences on the topic of sexual violence. The event concludes with a candlelight vigil led by Mayor Heidi Harmon. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Hannah Benson. And I'm Patrick Madden. Follow all the latest Cal Poly news at mustangnews.net. Have a great weekend.